What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 107 Otis and Undertaker figures. Now, we have checked out a few of the figures in these waves already, but I'm happy for the Otis figure to pair with our Elite 106 Chad Gable. And this Undertaker actually has an accessory that I have been... Well, I guess it's technically not an accessory, but it's something that I was begging for for years and years from Mattel that they finally delivered on, which we'll, of course, get into, man. But we have sort of a, a post-retirement Undertaker here doing a pod cast, chilling at the con, handing Texas the Big 12 championship, you know, things of that nature. So this is a post-retirement taker right here, but I'm excited for it. Actually, Loki might be the most underrated in the set. And then, of course, we have Shush Otis over here, Alpha Academy, looking good there. But if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course. I'd greatly appreciate that. But here is big old Otis right there. I feel like my eyes might be misprinted, man. I don't like that. That'll make me want to fight somebody and kick a baby in the mouth and vomit. Otis on the side there. You got Otis on the back right there. You got the Shoo Shoosh Please Alpha Academy, all the good stuff there. And then over here, we do have the Undertaker, who is looking pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn cool. I like this. I'm, I'm actually, I don't know. I'm just really intrigued with it. We're going to have to see where it stands, of course, but there's a shot of him on the back. You could pose him on a bike or something like that. LA Knight ran his mouth about taking on any legends at Raw 30. When Undertaker rode to the ring to put him in his place. Is this the one where he kind of chatted with Bray Wyatt afterwards? I think that's what this was, but pretty sweet moment to have him figure form, of course. Rest in peace to the legend there, man, but we're gonna crack these guys out of the packaging, put them on the rotating base, and find out what the hell The Undertaker and Otis from Elite 107 are all about. So here is Otis and Undertaker out of the packaging, man. I'm really impressed with both of these guys. I think these are two of the most underrated figures coming into the year, I think. Early on, these go right to the underrated list. A lot of people are going to skip over this figure. A lot of people are going to skip over these figures. And they're going to skip over this review, probably, just thinking, ah, oh, it's just another Taker and Otis. But you got some cool stuff going on here that I really want to dive into, man. So I can't wait to get started with you. Of course, we're going to start things off with the dead man. We'll run it back and take a closer look at him. And then, of course, we will take a closer look at Otis the other tag team partner of Alpha Academy and pair him up with our Chad Gable to see how the hell they look. But yeah, I'm enjoying these figures, man. Let's dive into it. So getting into Undertaker's accessories, you get a pretty good amount right here, man. We get cloth goods with both of these guys, so that's always nice. And like I said, this is like his, you know, his podcast or what have you that's on the WWE Network, I do believe. It's got Undertaker, one dead man show. Is that what that says? I can't even read that. But you have Undertaker on both sides there, the in-ring, the out-ring. You got some logos there. I think I've had many opportunities to see this show live, and I've just always done something different so I don't know that's weird I had an opportunity to either go to a major pod event or go to this and I think another time was something else and I declined maybe I'll go when it's like Royal Rumble maybe down in Tampa I can attend this we'll see about that but yeah shirt looks good fits the figure well and it's a velcro black shirt god the exposure got crazy for a second but yeah there's Undertaker shirt now here's a really unique accessory we have this fitted Texas hat right here and it does have the bandana underneath which fits the figure really well so you can just kind of slide that on there like that and look at that right there that's pretty damn snazzy i like that man that's good stuff so the hat looks good and i like that it's got the uh the texas flag on there which i think is awesome and you could you could run you could run that thing forward that looks pretty good too we also get a pair of sunglasses which i think also fit the figure well and i don't think you need that little you know rubber band to stick on there so yeah they fit the figure well old man taker chilling out on the beach dead man tanning that was lame as hell and then for interchangeable hands we get gloved hands but they are the same ones we got on his ultimate edition I do believe. You have like these padded black gloves which are cool. They look very nicely sculpted. And they also have black pegs and everything so you don't even gotta worry about the breakup. And then you also have the entrance style hands, you know, where he's like uh, raising the dead or, you know, like uh, just lifting up the hands for the signature Undertaker pose, which is great. So getting into the Undertaker figure, starting out with the head sculpt, man. Really like this head sculpt. I do believe this is the same head sculpt we saw on his Boneyard match, like, you know, top picks figure in the Elite 85. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. We're gonna do the comparison shot in a minute. But the likeness is really really good. It looks really, really good. I like the, the shaved on the sides right there, and then you do have the braid in the back ponytail, which is really awesome. When I get old, I may just rock this hair, this hair sculpt. I like this, you know what I'm saying? Because his forehead's big, my forehead's big, so, you know, I guess I could pull that off, maybe. We'll have to see about that when the day comes, of course. But he's got all of his tattoos here. I really like that they went shirtless underneath, because I don't feel like we get enough figures with this torso, especially with the BSK Pride tattoo on there. A lot of fix-ups and customs you can make out of this, but I like this 
his torso for Mark Calloway or Undertaker. It looks really, really nice. And he does have all of his tattoo details going around. I like the arm size and shoulders they give the Undertaker. He's looking like a badass, pun intended, but all looking good here. And then he just has kind of like a standard Undertaker crotch and legs right here, which look really good. But they're not pinless. These are the old legs, which is crazy because on his Elite 85 and his Top Picks figure, they were pinless. So this is kind of like your, your Elite 18 style legs, which are kind of an old mold, but they look really, really good. So I don't really mind it. Now, this is also something that I've been begging Mattel for for years and years. And we finally saw this figure back at San Diego Comic-Con, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken. We do have the wristwatch right here. Now, this is going to be able to help a ton of figures, man. I know we have it coming in the Monday Night Wars, Kevin Nash from Series 2. We have it coming on the Rocky Maivia from the Family 3-Pack for the Maivia Walmart exclusive. So, I mean, I've been begging them, begging them for this for years. And we finally got it here, but the black wristwatch looks good. You can remove this, put it on other people. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ric Flair, Roman Reigns, The Rock. I mean, there's so many different people you can put the watch on. So that's beautiful. We love to see that. Now, this figure actually can pose around really, really well. He is on ball joints, double jointed, not pinless. So, you know, the, he can actually pose around. He's pretty buttery smooth, man. This, I'm telling you right now, this is the most underrated figure in the set. I like this Undertaker figure a lot. And uh, I'm enjoying it a lot, actually. Before your Undertaker figure comparison, here is the Elite 107 in the middle compared to his top picks figure on the left that had the double jointed arms which is pretty much a re-release of the elite 85 undertaker from the boneyard match and then on the right we do have the ringside exclusive SummerSlam undertaker which is also very similar it's almost like you merge these two figures together and that's what you get here this head sculpt over here this body from the neck down over there, plain black pants, but you throw in some cool accessories from an, a pretty cool moment in the ring, and you do get this figure. But I really like these, man. Really nice stuff, but it is this head sculpt. It's just paint. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't really tell, man. Yeah, I think they are the same, but this one's painted better. Something about the apps right here. Look at this. I think they're the same, except the apps, the paint apps on this is much better. Like, the eyes look better and stuff like that, but... You could fix this guy up in a lot of different ways, and this is what I'm talking about. This, this figure had pinless joints, right? This is the Top Picks Undertaker from the Boneyard match. So tight, and his legs are so damn loose, it's awful. This is so much better that it's not even funny. Makes me want to vomit into the yard. The Boneyard, I guess. So getting into Otis accessories, man, you get two interchangeable pieces of hair, which we saw with the Elite 106 Jimmy Uso. And then you get some interchangeable hands and a shirt. Now, the shirt is actually something we've already seen. We saw it back in Elite 106 with Chad Gable, who is Otis's tag team partner in Alpha Academy. So it is nice to have matching shirts with our Af Alpha Academy. And, we, you know, it kind of updates the two there, which is cool. I know it's not their current look all the way, but, you know, it's still a pretty nice update. But you have the Alpha Academy logo. I feel like I've reviewed like 100 red shirts between all these different ways. Between the Uso, Solo, Chad Gable, this figure. Lots of the same color red shirt, man. And they're all sleeveless. It's kind of crazy. And then you do have the Otis interchangeable hair pieces. Now, the head sculpt's pretty good. I feel like my eyes may be a little bit misprinted, but not too bad. I do like the head sculpt right here, so we can go ahead and knock it out right now. But uh, you can remove this hair piece here, and you can put on the slick back hair piece. Now, I think I'm going to go with the messy hair compared to the slick back, but it's very seamless. They did a really good job of making it very seamless here between the two hair pieces. But you can let me know down below which one you like better. I like the messy haircut better than the slick back, but maybe you want to buy two of these and put this on a different Otis or what have you. But I don't know. It looks pretty good. I like the removable hair piece. I'm, I, I'm a fan of the removable hair pieces. They don't come off easy, and they're really seamless. They don't have, like, you know, a weird gap or nothing. So it's pretty damn incredible. I say that as there's a tiny gap there, but you know what I mean? I think it fits well. Look at that right there, man. That's pretty damn snazzy. But for interchangeable hands, you get fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. You have the world going around mic holding slash weapon wielding style hand. And then for Otis, we do get the worm hands or the bench press or the body press style hands or the prayer clasping style sitting on a throne hands is what I like to call them as we've covered here on the channel. You know, if you were sitting on a throne like Thanos, you would have your hands on the sides like that right there. So that's kind of what I think of. But yeah, that does it for Otis accessories. Now getting into the Otis figure at the top of the head sculpt, we already took a look at it, but I do like the bangs, messy hair better like I stated. But I like the head sculpt. I think it's enough difference. It's not goofy. He just kind of has that smug look that Otis usually has. So I'm all aboard the, the Otis train right here, man. And I like the singlet. It's got a really nice coloration going on. Again, this is the exact same gear that we saw 
on the Chad Gable. You know, they do have their matching gear, but I love how poseable the Otis figures are, man, and I like the formula right here. You know, these arms right here would work on a lot of different people, but I do feel like, you see how they're not, like, shredded? They have a nice, like, pudgy look, or they're, you know, they're not cut. He's not freaking 6% body fat, you know what I mean? So he wouldn't have these ultra-cut arms that you see on these different figures. So it is nice to see a more realistic arm here, and I would like to see this kind of shrunken down just a little bit with this kind of definition to fit those guys like Solo Sokoa and Kevin Owens and stuff like that, and Mick Foley, another great one, need more arms that are similar to this. These may be a bit too big for that, for those characters, but just the, the way they look, not as defined. I think these these are very nice. He's got the white wrist tape on there. The gear looks fine, like we said. Back shot of the figure, you got like these lightning designs going on. Kachow, looking pretty damn nice, and then you do have the nice thick thighs here for the thick boy. And then we do have these sculpted on knee pads with the triangle patterns. And I actually like this for Otis because it allows for better posability. So I have no issues with that. And then something I really love is the black and red boots right here that really bring it all together. I think this really sets it off as a nice contrast with the rest of the figure. But like I said, Otis is very posable. I mean, like, the ab crunch is going to be non-existent, right? But, you know, you get a little bit of a diaphragm pivot. He's pretty damn buttery smooth. He's got the double jointed arms in there. Uh, he is on ball joints, I'm pretty sure. Yes, he is on ball joints. I mean, but you're not going to get a huge kick forward just because his legs are so damn thick. But the rest of it, I mean, he can do a decent split. He's got upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee that can move well because the knee pads are sculpted on boot rotation as stated and I, yeah dude i mean it's otis you don't need to be you know putting on 450 splashes and whatnot but i think he gets the job done but as far as your figure comparisons go we do have some Otis figure comparisons. And for our first comparison, we do have our most recent Money in the Bank style Otis right here. Oh boy. The he other heavy machinery one, the Elite 76, I think it was. I can't find it, but it is a singlet one similar to this. I couldn't find my I don't know where the hell it is, Brad. I don't know. I think it's buried in a box somewhere. But I like how this one has a better, it's not as stumpy and short. Or maybe this is too big. I'm not entirely sure. I think he's 5'10". This one looks like he's 5'7". So I think, like, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I like this these up next to each other. I, I do like the new one better, I think, but I do like the shirtless Otis. I thought that was a cool touch. And then we do have his tag team partner, Alpha Academy. We have Chad Gable from Elite 106. Now, I did surgify the figure and put the shorty G head sculpt on there, but now they're both making that stern expression like they're going to beat the hell out of you. So, you know, that's pretty good. I like these up next to each other, and then I like that, man. They're both pissed off, and yeah, let's take the shirt off so we can see exactly, uh, you know, what the, uh, you know, what the gear looks like to match. If you guys wanted to see what the Chad Gable gear looks like, and yeah, I mean, it's the same exact pattern pretty much for the most part. The colors all match and the lightning bolts and everything. So, yeah, I'm all for that. Maybe if he had white and black boots from his last figure, it would set it off a little more. But I like the red. It kind of pops off, so... I don't know, I just feel like they should probably match boots, but who am I, Brad? Who, who the hell am I? But I think that about does it for our WWE Elite 107 Undertaker and Otis figure reviews, man. Again, I'm really impressed with both these figures. They move around incredibly well. I really like this Undertaker figure a lot. The Otis, I mean, you know, it is cool to get the shoe shirt, and it's cool to have, like, the interchangeable hair pieces, and if you really want an updated Otis, this, you know, would be the figure for you. But I don't know, I don't think it's necessarily a must-have, but if you do want to pair it with another Chad Gable, you know, and you want that extra shoe shirt and what have you to pair with your Chad Gable, then definitely go out of your way to get this figure. But I don't know if it's a must-have. It's very similar to his last two leads. And the Undertaker figure, I love the accessories. You know, I love the wristwatch. You could put that watch on a lot of people, you know. And you could leave this Undertaker just shirtless if you wanted to. Even though it does have the same torso and whatnot as the ringside exclusive, there, there's obvious repeats in this. But I like this kind of going to the con, podcasting, post-retirement Undertaker look for him. So I guess it's just, you know, how much skin do you have in the game and which you like to, to pick up there, man. But if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I am getting the hell out of here, man. I do believe the room tour should be going up tomorrow, barring just some ridiculous crap. So we'll have to see about that, man. I, I've been up all night, every single day for the last, like, five days. I have slept, but it's been... I've been going to bed at 5 a.m. every night working on the office. So I hope you guys do enjoy when it finally drops. And I would greatly appreciate that, man. But I'm getting out of here so that I can go to sleep because right now I just filmed this after finally setting the room up. It is like 6.40 a.m. or something like that, and I've been up all night, man, so I'm going to go get some rest. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on these figures. What do you think about them? Huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate every single one of you guys so very much for all of your continued support through the year. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>